Now, in today's video, we're gonna break down five awesome facts about the incredible boxer dog. Welcome to the Femrear Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist. I'm the founder and CEO of FemrearCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the glorious and comical boxer and then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect boxer companions. So if you're a lifelong boxer lover or you're thinking about getting your very first boxer, I promise you then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future boxer video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five awesome facts about one of the world's most fun, comical and glorious dog breeds that I absolutely adore to work with as a canine behaviorist. And we'll start with my fact at number five and that's about the history of the dog. The boxer we know of today was developed quite recently. The breed was created in the late 19th century and one important part of the ancestry is the ancient bull and bicer, which originates from mastiffs and bulldogs. The bull and bicer was in the old days used for hunting boars, wild boars, bears, deers, lots of other big, large, powerful game. And over time, their task changed into guarding and driving cattle. The first boxer to be registered as such was a dog named Floki, who was the result of successful breeding between Alt Schnecken, a female modern bull and bizer, and an English bulldog named Tom. Now, Floki, or Floki, was first boxer to be registered in the German stud book after winning at the Munich Dog Show, who had a special boxer event. Now, Floki had a niece who was even more influential in creation of the breed. She was a white boxer named Meta von der Passage and is considered to be the mother of the entire boxer breed. As with most breeds, the looks have changed over the years. And though photographs of Meta, we can see the appearance differs significantly from the boxer that we know today. Now, an interesting fact is that the boxer was used during World War I, first by the Germans and later also by American soldiers. They were trained to carry messages and supplies and help locate wounded soldiers out in the field. So a fact at number four is about the way this dog breed looks and its health. And the boxer is a large dog with males growing upwards of 25 inches tall and females a little bit smaller and weighing up to 70 pounds for males and around 60 for females. Now, it is tempting to say that a boxer is a walking square. Their head is square with a slightly longer jaw. And this is due to their history as hunters with that bull and bison, bull bite. They could hold their prey and yet still breathe properly. These days, they're short nose is reason to care though especially in hot weather as for the body the boxer is rather short from head to tail so they tend to look square in that respect as well they are also supposed to be quite muscular but shouldn't be too bulky like a mastiff breed their skin is tight except on the face where the skin is heavily wrinkled this can sometimes be cause for concern from a health perspective as those wrinkles need to be cleaned to prevent any kind of infections from setting in now a boxer's ears are naturally folded but some people do have them cropped as is done with many other breeds however that is an illegal practice here in the UK as well as many other countries and it's also very common to see a boxer with a cropped tail a boxer's coat is short and they shed moderately they are easy to groom and from that respect also easy to live with since the less shedding the less cleaning you have to do at home this means that if you dislike having your home covered in fur then the boxer very well may be a good option for you to consider now according to the american kennel club the boxer comes in three registered colors fawn brindle and white the former with or without white markings now while all three colors are accepted one should be aware that white boxers are prone to deafness like many other white breeds and the boxer lacks the gene for black fur so you'll never see a black boxer health wise the boxer is considered a healthy breed but as with any breed there are always some health issues that are worth knowing about now it's highly unlikely that your dog will get any or all of these conditions but like i said it's always good to know and be able to keep your eye out for some of the common things that tend to plague individual breeds the boxer is also prone to developing mass cell tumors uh, lymphoma and brain cancer white boxers or if your dog has large white boxers can also get sunburn so you 
really should consider using sunscreen to protect their skin, even though that might not be something that people commonly understand with dogs. The breed is also especially sensitive to different heart diseases. Due to the size of the boxer, it's fairly common to have arthritis, hip and elbow dysplasia. So bear that in mind and it's important to keep your dog within a healthy weight range. You should also be aware that a boxer who is overweight, lazy and low in energy may also suffer from hyperthyroidism. So again, that might be something worth speaking to your vet about. And lastly, other conditions that are quite common can be eye related issues, bloat and allergies. Now at number three, let's talk about the personality and temperament of the boxer. If you're looking for a high energy dog, you've come to the right place. The boxer is intelligent, highly driven, high energy, playful dogs who like to keep busy. They also prefer to be at the center of the action and are loyal to their family. They will guard a family and home fiercely against any strangers or intruders, but they're not necessarily a natural guarding breed, but more so a natural watchdog breed. Now this is a breed that needs plenty of time to mature. Don't be surprised if your boxer can take three to four years of age to really reach adulthood and start to plateau out with their energy levels. In general, the boxer is a very friendly and goofy dog. Like any other dog, they need good socialization and training early on to prevent bad behaviors from setting in later on in life. Let's move on to trainability. Now, if you're considering sharing your life with a boxer, you should know that they are considered a working breed. Now, that means that they do need a certain amount of training, not only for basic obedience, but also to keep them sane and calm around the house. A working dog that doesn't get to use his or her brain may very easily become bored and frustrated, and then that very quickly can lead to quite severe destructive behaviors. Now, as for their trainability, like I say, being a working breed, that does make them quite easy easy to train. The easiest way is to be firm, fair and a calm, consistent leader utilizing a balanced, positive based system. Since the boxer is such an intelligent dog, you also need to be extremely consistent as they will notice right away with any kind of inconsistencies in your rules and boundaries and will quickly exploit them even if it's just for a bit of fun. And if you need any help whatsoever with training your boxer, we have tons of online resources available at femreardogtraining.com and the links are down in the description box below. You can go and check out some of the testimonials from some of our thousands of very happy clients and customers. And our fact at number one is going to be around boxers living in families with children. Now, in general, the boxer absolutely loves children. They are part of the family and they will naturally be extremely loyal and protective of them. However, due to their very childlike behavior and high energy themselves with their size, it may be better that the children are just a little bit older. If your boxer is in play mode, he may well quickly be able to knock down toddlers or smaller children, even if it's just ensure happiness and excitement of play. Now, no matter how old your children are, both children and the dog do need to be taught how to interact very well with each other. And no children should ever be left alone unsupervised with a dog. But with the boxer breed in general, they are known to be fantastic around children, extremely loving, extremely devoted. And like I say, once they're kind of out of that toddler phase, can be an absolute joy to share your family life with. Now, I hope you enjoyed our five facts today. If so, make sure you hit that like button. If you think there's anything we missed off or any experience that you want to share with your boxer, please drop that down in the comment section below. Let's get involved and have some fun down there. Now, we have two dedicated videos coming to this channel every single week specific to the glorious boxer. So don't forget to subscribe so that I can't wait to meet you on the next episode of the Femria Boxer Show.